asked for it. For Doomhammer. Nice totem to get. I was hoping for the healing totem myself, but this will work. That card is probably scary enough to hex. No, I don't have to. The Feral Spirit pumps this up to 4. I use this to kill that 4 2, then swing into that, ideally. Dreamers play right here. Even in the worst case, this axe plus uh, another wolf should kill the water alley. It's so sad that it doesn't quite work out. So strong. The good news is Defender of Argus on a totem will be able to kill off the water but I doubt will let that happen. And the Lightning Storm will be able to kill it off as well. That's pretty nice. Two, six, seven. My also, saves it from the Fire Blast range. Nothing to silence left in his deck, I think. I mean, nothing critical. Alright, well, that's a forced trade. But not a bad one. Tide, the mana tide. It's a gamble against flame strike. If I play mana tide, he'll flame strike 100%. This board, I'd probably flame strike if I had it. So, I'll test it out first, I guess. The mana tide would have uh, almost guaranteed me the victory in this game, unless he had the flame strike. I just couldn't make that bet. But if he doesn't flame strike, I'll play it the next. What to do? What to do? Oof. Four to five, so ideally one of these takes five and then the wrath takes it out. Which happens a good amount of the time. Great. Into the breach! And I want to re-get this totem since it's not the Searing totem. It appears he does not have Flame Strike. 
on hand right now. This is not that big a board. Each draw that he makes. Oh, he was holding it. Shields up. Slightly unexpected. This is a recent top deck, but not the top deck. Ultimately, the flame strike hit a news, the totem, a drake. Pretty good on his side. Not a disaster. The uh, remaining cards in my deck are pretty high quality, late game cards. It's got all three of the sixes in there, and it's still a drake. You can yammer on about how I was baited into a flame strike, uh, but really all I lost was a 3 2 ooze. Polymorphs, it seems. His deck might run Pyroblast, but my assumption was he does not. Uh, from that, it looks like he doesn't. Yeti, it's big enough to hex. And I think I'm in dire enough straits that I need to bolt this. No, Axe Earthshock is good enough. Does somewhat set me up for a three turn clock since I believe he's got Fireball. Three, five, seven. Now I'll keep the totems. I'll need them for the DPS. Looks like I might be in a situation where I have to win the next turn. Can I do that? It's pretty unlikely. He's got a sheep. It's not quite worth the risk that he doesn't actually have the kill. But there's another fireball in there. dead next turn. <laughs> but can I win? Probably not. Two, three, five... Ah, the overload. I can only play one flame time. Two, three, five, seven, nine... Thirteen damage. That's quite close, but... Too bad. Could be in the bottom of his deck, but he's got it. Well, 
Time to climb back up from three. Some uh, tough games today. Well played. Your soul shall be mine for Doomhammer. Uh, thank you to Brave Triforcer for your donation. Um, I'll be playing the arena with my gold. I'd say probably about 2 o'clock this time. Mix things up a bit. There's some people in chat commenting on the last game that I should have played the Flame Tongue Totem when I was considering it, but it immediately got flame struck. Uh, additionally, and Ooze is not worth saving against Jaraxxus. I've actually heard some people criticize me about that the last game. Also, I should have played Feral Spirit, but uh, dressing chat is difficult. Let's see. Three, five, seven. Imperfect answer. The only thing you can ask yourself to do is make the play that makes the most sense at the time, even when looking into the future. I mean, you can only make predictions based on the future, and that's my primary skill of this game. Uh, the Mountain Giant, though I have no perfect answer here, this is pretty good. I'd say that's pretty close to perfect. One giant, one twilight drake down. Wow, he's down to 13. That's actually dangerous for me since I have no answer to the giants of the molten variety. Very concerning. Okay, this is the first problem that I cannot handle here. Two, five, seven. Although with the 50 50, that could be three. Three, four, six, and then eight. In the case that I don't get it, I'll have to use Feral Spirit to buy time. Well, okay. So that's three, five, six. An imperfect answer, but good enough. If it hits four, that's too bad. Then I could have saved myself uh, quite a lot of damage. It might not be insane to Feral Spirit. Worst case, he does some sort of area of effect which clears these off. Well, actually, that is the worst case. Significantly uh, worse than I thought it would be. That's pretty good though. To have that thing both healed and my board cleared. I didn't quite imagine that. The Hellfire would have been fine. My shield for Argus. Uh, this one is a major problem. Seven, six, two. With this, uh, with the right totem, I can get it. 
But most likely I'll use Feral Spirit. And I probably wouldn't want to kill that anyways with the methodology that I'm thinking of. 247. Oh my gosh, I got it. So I can do um, 2 to bring it down to 6. 2. What I could do is Earthshock. Oh, I can't actually do that. Almost fell into a trap there. 2-5. The Draxus is soon, so I'm actually going to keep the ooze. Cannot lightning bolt this. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with a hand like this? Well, I can do a uh, two six eight damage to him. Which is at least something. And the taunt totems are going to be coming. My face is safe for now. In theory. <sighs> It was possible to clear the giant. Yeah, it was possible to clear the giant, but that would have led to a loss eventually. I must protect the wife for Doomhammer. Two, three, four. Sanding bad. Ah, oh, please. No need for the heckling of taking a break. Loose streaks happen. It's all in the uh, randomness. It's very hard to put me on tilt. Although it is worth mentioning that it is a good strategy to go on a break if you feel like you're performing worse. My games are going fun though. Where shall I strike? Elements guide me. Hmm. That's actually a two for two. Let's see, Sir Kiwi asks, Trump, why just one mana tide? Why not two? Well, the reason is mana tide is very bad against aggro. It's uh, more of a toolkit card where sometimes it's amazing. And you play it at that time. Having two would make uh, you have two cards that are dead quite often. My general spiel, and I've repeated this a few times, is that uh, this deck, I've kept it around the same for quite some time. Uh, any change that is made to it will weaken a matchup and help a matchup. And at this point, I think it's about... It's a fair balance. Well, I got the seven mana really quickly there. The wild growth I'm going first. But I got my totem crew. Wow. It's not a card you see often. Hmm. Two ways to deal with it. The air shock makes it a 5-4. It could be a 5-3 if I uh, finagle the right totem, which is guaranteed. To save the hex, probably important. Their shock dealing 7 damage is not going to happen again. Two, three, four. I don't think I want to axe for five more damage. I'm in the danger zone already. 
So, three, and then I guess I sack a wolf in this totem. Which means I have four, which means Yeti. If he's running uh, a mana ramp druid, wild growth, I could uh, see like even threatening, even more threatening cards. I happen to have the perfect answer, so you cannot hex that. I mean, you can, but it would probably be wrong. You always have to use the uh, worst answer you have to deal with problems, so that you save your best answers for more serious problems. It's the Trump school of thought, yeah. It's what everyone's school of thought should be. Mind if I roll need? It's the value school of thought, I should say. Oh, hex would be really good. All right, swipe. I mean, that would clear all of it, except this one. Fortunately, it seems he doesn't have it. I'm okay with this. I have all the totems out. I can't do that. So I guess I play ooze. So sick. Starfall would wipe the board. I must save uh, Thalnos swipe this wipes the board. Thalnos swipe me wipes the board. Alright. Three, nine, hit that. for a way to win here. 4, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11. Any 3 damage thing would have worked. Oh, I am at Ysera Awakening's mercy here. That's the one card that will cause me to lose this unlosable game otherwise. <laughs> Time to pay. Elements guide me. Oh, uh, Where shall crap. I, I actually... Eh, whatever. That was a really good point. I should have hit him to 4 health, so that if he awakens, he kills himself. That'd be a good hedge. Um... Ah. Uh, don't have enough damage yet again. Although it is possible to top deck the damage. I got the best deals anywhere. <sighs> That'll do it. It's time for the totem tango.
Thank you. For all the um, bloodlust cries, the flame tongue totem is similar. I suppose if you wanted to put bloodlust in this deck, you could replace a bloodlust totem with it, but the two are very similar cards. And the theory behind no bloodlust, of course, is it's terrible against aggro. And in the games where you can play them, you will probably win. I think bloodlust is better suited for decks with Violet Teacher and Token Creation, but it's not out of place, and you could build a deck based around Bloodless, but I don't think you just put it in the random Control Shaman deck. Your soul shall be mine for Doomhammer. Cool, got a Lightning Storm against the Warlock. Oh, he only got rid of one card. I don't feel confident about my chances. Not having one or two drop to counter this knife juggler could lead to a snowball out of control. The Shattered Sun Cleric on the knife juggler would be devastating. The dream is three chumpsicles. That's pretty close to ideal for me. gonna trade, of course. Murlocs. Cool. Thanks. do it in this order since if I missed I need to lightning bolt that thing. Saying that the game is basically over, but he's a jerk. I hope the karma gets him. The top deck's nothing but garbage, but he hasn't used any soul fires yet, which is frightening. It's just out of mortal cool range, but I don't think he runs it. Also kills him real life. Top deck the more leader. Oh please, health to Ah and As scary as the war leader is, I'm going to need to ignore it on this one. After all, a lonely war leader is not too big a threat. So this is actually going to be a three, a two, three, once this dies. Auctioneer hex one of them. Uh, that's a 2-3 as well. But if I hex, I can't attack. Which means I have to kill this first. I don't really need the card draw. But beats a totem, I think. Hmm, it's actually a 2-4, not a 
weird. Oh my gosh. It's okay. I'm still good. I'm still good. Oh. The elements will destroy you.